bodybuilder in Thailand. I'm going to be doing my cardio after I finish this video. So, the importance of labels with accomplishing your goals. So, we've talked about goals and projects and why it's important to have them. It's also, you know, much easier said than done to have goals um, than to, you know, get to the end because like we talked about, um, it has to be, your goals have to be things that you really want uh, and, and it's easier said than done to find your passions. So one of the things that is crucial, a tool that is crucial in um, accomplishing your goals and getting through the adversity of them is the use of labels, um, labeling yourself. So to give you an example of this, if I was trying to do a contest prep for a bodybuilding competition, I would inwardly call myself a bodybuilder. I would label myself, I am a bodybuilder. The label, it doesn't need to be projected out to others, especially if you may feel like, uh, if you're not there yet, you may feel um, self-conscious um, projecting that and telling other people your label of yourself. And, and it really, it doesn't make a fucking difference whether or not you let other people know what you think of yourself or what you're calling yourself or what you aspire to be. You just label yourself. So if I was having trouble sticking to my diet, you know what's going to help me? is to say, is to tell myself I'm a bodybuilder. And then, and, and I tell myself this, and, uh, and I believe this, I am a bodybuilder. And you start to think about what do bodybuilders do? They eat chicken, they eat rice, and they eat vegetables. And they eat small meals throughout the day. And they go to the gym and they do their cardio. <laughs> so, you label yourself like this and you adapt this self-image, right? So even if you don't look like it yet, you still adapt this self-image. What am I? I am a bodybuilder. And, and it helps you to achieve your goals because when you see yourself as this, um, if you're acting in a way that is not congruent, it doesn't make any sense. And, and your, your brain, it needs congruency. It, what you believe of yourself, it, it needs... Uh, to, to make sense of that and that's why like the kind of person you think you are like if you think Whatever you think of yourself right now, like if you think you're outgoing if you think you're a, a gamer if you think uh, You're a loser that doesn't do well with girls um, your you, you act in accordance to that whatever you think of yourself Yeah, if you you know, you will spend time gaming. If you think you are a, a student, uh, and you know, I, if you think of to yourself, if you're in college, I am a student and I'm working towards getting my computer engineering degree. Then if you are doing nothing to further getting that, if you're not going to class, if you're not studying, if you're not doing your homework, you're gonna feel like shit because uh, you're, self-image is not congruent with what you're doing and and what you're doing needs to be congruent with what you think of you what you think you are or else your your mind will make you feel like shit which will motivate you to do that to move in that direction so you need to be ambitious with your labels if you want to become something start labeling yourself on the way there if you want to be do well in school start telling yourself I'm a straight-A student and if you get up you know if you're telling yourself this throughout the day I'm a straight-A student and then you're not doing anything to study it, you're you're just gonna you're gonna think to yourself what the fuck and your your mind will just it will pick you up out of your seat it'll make your body pick up out of your seat and go start studying because <laughs> what you're doing makes no sense it's the same thing with if you say a I'm a bodybuilder or I'm an athlete. If you're not doing your workouts and 
you know, you're telling yourself that on a regular basis. You see yourself as that, but you're not doing your workouts. You're eating shit like ice cream. It just doesn't make sense. And, and you, you're either going to feel like shit and quit because of that and change your self image and stop telling yourself that you're a bodybuilder, or you're going to start, you know, training and sticking to your diet. Don't let your blood sugar drop on your diet. That's, that's where people really get fucked. If you let your blood sugar drop, you're not gonna be able to control yourself. So if you're trying to diet, eat clean food, but eat when you're hungry. Don't, uh, don't make yourself go into a feeling where you're shaky and um, feel like you're gonna pass out and shit because that's not the right way to do it. That's not the right way to diet. So another thing would be if you have trouble talking with girls. One of my things with this channel is, and, and one of the things that it was, you know, has been crucial to my life is having, is having the dating life that I want because like many men, um, girls, sex, very, very important things in my life and things that if I didn't experience them and have them in my life, um, by the time that I get older and don't have that opportunity anymore, um, I would feel like, what the fuck? Like one of the most like coolest things that I'm the most passionate about, I, I didn't go get it. And now it's too late and I'm not okay with that. So <laughs> I've worked for a lot of years to uh, change that. So if you are having trouble with approaching girls, because, and one thing is if you're on a college campus, approaching girls isn't the best way to do it. Joining a frat is the best way to do it. Uh, because it's all about, it's all about groups. People still want to feel included in groups in college. Once you get out of college, groups don't really matter very much. And it's more like cold approaching and, and shit works, works much better. But it's still, fuck. I just made a good catch. <laughs> uh, but cold approaching still works in, in college. It just, it is what it is. Um, so if you start labeling yourself, a lot of the guys that if they want a good dating life, they want an abundance of women in it, but they feel like I don't want people to, you know, see me like when I'm approaching and, you know, I'll feel like I'll be humiliated, like, if it doesn't go well, right? Because it's like, you know, if you, if you get rejected in a girl, you probably had experiences, like, in middle school or in elementary school where you did, you know, have something go on with a, a girl where, you know, you liked her or whatever. And then uh, something happened where she let you know she didn't like you or her friends did. Or you went and talked to her. And all your fucking faggot friends probably were like, oh burned or something and I mean what a bunch of losers the only th reason they did that is because they're just little idiots <laughs> they need to grow up but uh, and it's likely that something like that happened before and so you don't need to to feel that way but it's common too and the way that a label can help with that that feeling of of I don't want to do that is if you just switch to saying I'm a playboy start uh, embracing that image and it will make your self image that which can handle uh, having public rejections and having people see you get uh, you know rejected by women you approach if you if you, if you tell yourself I'm a playboy. And then you, uh, <laughs> you know, you, you're going to be like, if you, if you think of yourself as a playboy, you're going to be approaching women. Yeah, I'm a playboy. You wake up in the morning, I'm a playboy. Well, what do playboys do? Playboys talk to a lot of girls. Playboys talk to a lot of girls. Playboys don't sit in the room and masturbate instead of talking to girls. Playboys don't pussy out because they're afraid of people seeing them 
No shit people are gonna see them approach girls because they're playboys, that's what they do. They talk to a lot of girls, it's funny. Okay, so you tell yourself, I'm a playboy. And instead of having this resistance that your body is always putting up, every time that you think, oh shit, like I wanna approach that girl but the environment isn't right, I can't do it because I'm a bitch. Just tell yourself, and if you have that image, it takes a little while to get the image of self-affirmations over time. Uh, I'm a playboy, this is what I do, this is what playboys do. Then it doesn't matter anymore. Your actions should be congruent with your self-image. What's my goal right now? My goal is growing bodybuilderintailand.com as big as I can possibly get it. You know why I'm motivated to do that? Because this is the gold rush on the internet right now. Right now, anyone can become a personality, a news outlet for thousands of people. And do you know how much value that has to be able to reach thousands of people at any time? Insane value. You can monetize it, right? You can monetize it. And, and it's also fun. It's fun to have a lot of people uh, be able to, to see to see you, to, to share your opinions with a lot of people and interact with them. So it, this is my main goal in my life, is to grow a bodybuilder in Thailand.com. So do you know what I tell myself? What kind of affirmations I tell myself? I tell myself, even though I may not be the biggest, uh, I'm not definitely not a YouTube fitness superstar yet. You know, people... Some, so I think some people, because I've had some like viral videos, like my trend balloon video went viral, uh, but and also my the video that uh, Dr. Tony Huge took of when we uh, were you know purchasing testosterone, etc., in Bangkok went viral as well. Uh, so people see some people have seen my face, uh, but I'm by no way uh, I definitely haven't made it yet. I'm, on, I'm a fringe, I'm a fringe YouTuber. And, but I tell myself, I am a YouTuber. I am a fitness YouTuber. I make fitness YouTube videos. I make bodybuilding videos. I am a icon on the internet that shares his opinion, that shares his shit, that shares his experiences. You can come to me for advices is what I tell myself, and I adapt this into my self-image. And if it's the first thing that I would think about when I wake up and the first thing that I go about when I think about when I go to sleep, last thing I think about, because it's, it's basically my life. It, it's, it's the most important thing in my life and it's my self-image, is my job. This is how I motivate myself to do my job because there's no boss whipping my back. There's no one to be afraid of. The only one that motivates me is I wanna eat food, I wanna have a comfortable life, and I wanna be successful as fuck. I wanna be a big influence to a lot of people because I like that, because I think that's fun. And so that's why I do this. And uh, so I, I think about it. It's, a, it's part of, it's my self image. It's, this is what I am. And if I'm not doing it, I would think like, what the fuck? Like if I took a few days off, I basically take no days off, but I, I mean, because I basically work seven days a week because because I like it. This is this is who I am. This is what I do right now. And uh, if I'm not doing that, I'm like, what the fuck am I doing? Like, it, it's my self image. It's what I think of myself. It's what I believe of myself. And so I'm doing it all the time. And yeah, it just it permeates what I do and it causes my body to do actions. It causes my body to do actions. I won't be able, I'll be upset, you know, I'll feel upset with myself, I'll feel upset if I'm not making that happen, making that go further, taking steps to progress in that direction of being an influence on the internet, being an influential character, an influential figure on the internet. Increasing the popularity of bodybuilder in thailand.com I that is my self image that's what I believe I am right now this is my purpose of life right now it's the purpose that I'm living and I see myself I am a figure on the internet I am a figure on the internet 
I am a figure, influential figure on the internet. And so since I think of myself as this, since I've labeled myself as this, I must take action to make congruency. I must make my actions congruent with my mind's perception of what I am. So find a label for whatever it is your problem is. What are you having trouble with? What are you having trouble sticking to? What are you having trouble accomplishing? And what are, what do you need motivation? You need extra kick. What is it that you're trying to do? What is it that you're trying to be great at and accomplish? Find a label for it. That's what you are. That's what you are. And tell yourself that because you deserve it. Your mind is in control. And so you take in control of your fucking life and you tell yourself what you are and you make, make yourself hurt if, you, if you're not doing it. Because if what I mean by hurt is make your mind not feel good because you've taken the steps to label yourself as that. And you will not feel good if you then do not follow through. So label yourself something, whatever it is that you need to be working on, whatever your purpose is, whatever your project is. If you like basketball, I am a basketball player. If you like, uh, if you're playing football in college, I am a college football player. If you are bent on becoming a computer science engineer and you're in college, I am a computer science engineer. And what do computer science engineers doing when they're in college? They fucking write code. They fucking study in class. They get A's on their tests. Do label yourself. Stick to the label. Make it become part of you. And you will have the motivation to do what you need to do to get you there without even trying. Dan, bodybuilder in Thailand.com. The truth in bodybuilding.